Hi. I came up to talk to you about the other night. Then I saw the paper and, well, actually, I'm kind of embarrassed about it. But since it concerns you, I thought I'd talk to you about it in person. What? What? Mm -hmm. Oh, the earplugs. I can't go through the whole thing again. It's sufficient to say I've come to make up. And as an added inducement, I have all kinds of news. Can I come in? I guess so. Isn't it? Do I have a nightgown on? No, I don't. Would you mind turning around for a second? Oh, never mind. It's such a corny line anyway. I'll turn around myself. Come in. Have you seen the paper? Mm. Rusty, you mean? Mm-hmm. Yes, I know all about it. Suddenly had him pegged wrong, didn't I? I thought he was just a rat. But he was a super rat all along. A super rat in rat's clothing. You don't even know the best part. Not only was he a rat or a super rat, rather, he was also broke. Broke? I mean, but not a farthing. His family has money, of course, but he personally is broke. It turns out he owes $700,000. Can you imagine anyone owing $700,000? $43, yes. Anyway, that's why he decided to marry the queen of the pig people. I'll tell you one thing, Fred, darling. I'd marry you for your money in a minute. Would you marry me for my money? In a minute. So I guess it's pretty lucky neither of us is rich, huh? Yeah. Oh, Fred, darling, I'm so glad to see you. What have you been doing? Writing, mostly. Sold a story. Just got word this morning. Oh, that's marvelous. It really is. But only how does your decorator friend feel about it? I thought you were supposed to be saving yourself and all of that. You know something? I haven't quite got around to telling her about it yet. 